make it fast. And very familiar really fast. It just comes from Luke chapter 8, verses 23 through 25. Amen. And if you have it, why don't you stand for the reading of God's word? It's Luke chapter 8, verses 22 to 25. And it reads, Now it came about on one of those days that he and his disciples got into a boat, and he said to them, Let us go to the other side of the lake. And they launched out. But as they were sailing along, he fell asleep. A fierce gale wind descended upon the lake, and they began to be swamped and to be in danger. And they came unto him and awoke him, and saying, Master, Master, we are perishing. Being aroused, being aroused, he woke, he, he rebuked the winds and the surging waves, and they stopped, and it became calm. And he said to them, Where is your faith? And they were fearful and amazed, saying to one another, who, is then, who then is this, that he commands even the winds and the water, and they obey him? Wow. Wow. Turn to your neighbor and say, neighbor, neighbor. all aboard, all aboard, and it's going to the other side. It's going to the other side. Amen. Amen. Get us there, get us there. <laughs> I don't know about you, but I'm mad. Uh -oh. I'm upset. Uh -oh. I'm frustrated. I'm tired. I'm tired. I'm sick and tired of being sick and tired. I am very upset. You want to know why I'm upset? Why are you upset now? Because God has given us life and life more abundantly. All right. God has given us life and life more abundantly. But the devil had came in and set up a petition. All right. He has set up boundaries for us to receive what God has for us. All right. Or I know I ain't alone. Amen. See, sometimes in our lives that the devil has brought up petition to stop us from going to the other side. Amen. He has brought up petition for my joy, our peace. I love and I long suffering. He yeah, has put petitions up there. Amen. On the other side. Yeah. There's another side to this. He has stopped us from being happy. He has stopped us from having the joy that God has wanted us to be. Right. He has set up roadblocks. <laughs> he has set up obstacles to stop us from achieving what God wants us to have. Amen. Right. Oh, I'm mad. Yeah. <laughs> I'm mad. Help us out. But in today's text, Jesus wants to get us to the other side. Amen. Amen. Can you hear him calling you? Mm. All aboard. Mm. Who want to go to the other side? Amen. Amen. Do you want to go with me? Yes, sir. Do you yeah. want to go to the other yes, side of peace? Yeah. Do you Amen. want to go to the other side of joy? Amen. Do you want to go to the other side of, of this life and life more abundantly? All right. All right. Well, let's go into it. Amen. 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 And it says, now, it came about on one of those days that he and his disciples got into the boat and he said to them, let us go to the other side of the lake. And they launched out. Amen. See, first of all, you've got to understand that in our life, all right. sometimes we have one of those days. All right. We have one of those days. Have you ever had one of those days? Yeah. One of those days that, that the same old, same old, over and over again. Have you had one of those days? All right. Have you had one of those days where you thought you you thought that everything was going to go the same old, same old? Right. Have you ever been there? Or have you had one of those days where you were just stuck in a rut? Right. Yes, when sir. you can't get out. Yes, sir. Have you ever been in one of those days where you can't get out of this little chicken coop for which we call life? All right. Have you ever been there? All right. Have you ever been there? Mm -hmm. But Jesus got an answer for it. Amen. That we've been stuck in a rut. And it says that we have one of those days. And it says he and his disciples got into the boat. See, first of all, you've got to understand in here of being on the porch, you've got to know who you is. 
Amen. You got to know who you with. And sometimes when you get ready to go to the other side, you got to have Jesus with you. Amen. You got to have Jesus with you when you're going through your trials, your tribulation, through your circumstances. Because if you want to go to the other side, you must have Jesus Christ. Amen. Oh, Amen. this is good news that, that you must be with him. You must be with him when you're going through the destination where God has set out for you. Amen. Oh, yes, sir. It is not only that you have to be with him, but have you been stuck in a rut to the point to where you couldn't grow to the level that you want to grow to? Mm. Have you ever been stuck in a rut to where you have reached the glass ceiling and right. your face is pressed up against the glass? Oh, yeah. Oh, we need to go to the other side. Oh, yes. Oh, yes, we need to go to the other side. Not only that we need to go to the other <coughs> side, but it says here, it says in the text, it says that, and he said to them, let us go to the other side of the land. Are you ready to go? Yeah. Are you ready to take this journey to the other side of the lake? Amen. Are you ready to take this journey to the other side of that which the devil has hinged against us, has blocked us against and put a petition against us, put a barricade against us? Are you ready to go to the other side? Oh, yeah. Oh, well, this is good news then here today. Because what he said was, Jesus had made the call and told them, let us go to the other side. Now that's good news because when you think about what he said, is he said, "Let us go to the other side." That means that Jesus is with us. All Amen. Right. Oh, that's good news. Amen. When he said, "Let us," that means he's going to be involved with it too. Amen. I like that because see, that's good news because see, he's with us. Right. He walks with us. He talks with us. He tells us that he is our own. See, that's good news when we're going through our trials and tribulations. That means that we are not. By ourselves. Amen. Amen. Right. See, right. some of us think we going out in this journey and we think we are in this alone, but we got Jesus, right. the master of the sea. Amen. All right. Oh, that's good news. All right. That's good news because of the authority that he packs with him. It's all good news. See, I like that he made the call. And see, some of us need to be able to answer the call of going to the other side. All right. Right. See, Amen. some of us need to just answer the call. See, God has been calling some of us to go to the other side. Go to the other side and I teach it. Go to the other side and I right. preach it. Go right. to the other side and I reach it. We yes. need to go right. to the other side. Yeah. Man. He Amen. makes the call. Are you willing to answer the call? Amen. Are you willing to answer the call? Yes. If you are by chance, Ready to answer the call? There are some 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 criteria involved with you answering the call. Right. Okay, can I help you here? Right. Can I help you? Here? The criteria of us answering the call. It says that after he said, "Let us go to the other side of the lake." The criteria is that they launched out. Right. Oh, can I help you? Here? Yes, Come on now. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, Lord. Can I can I help you? Here? When you launch it to the other side, that means that. Can I give you an illustration? This is an illustration, brother. That me and Sister Amanda was headed out to to the Bahamas and first time ever sailing on a ship. And we first time ever sailing on a ship. And we get we get to the flight, we fly over there, we get close to the board of the ship. And then as you get in the ship, it's time for you to go on a board of Amen. the ship. Amen. Once you get on the board of the ship, the ship sit there for a little bit, Mom. You can do all kinds of things. You can walk back and forth, back and forth. But when it's time for you to get ready to launch, everything is stopped and you got to be on that trip. And what I want to bring out to the point to you is that once you get on that board and on that ship, and once that ship is getting ready to launch, you got to be committed. Amen. Oh, let, can I help you here? Amen. Just see, once you got to be committed, the, the fact that you got to be committed is that now you can't worry about who you left on the other side. I, I, See, I, I was right. on that ship. I had to worry about my children left behind, my mama left behind, my, 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 my brothers and sisters left behind on that ship. Something could go wrong when Mr. Mom may want to call. But once you're on that ship, you are fully committed in going to the destination where that ship wants you to go. Right. See, and I'm here to tell you that if once you say that you want to be on this ship uh, uh, going to the other side, you must be fully committed. We must be fully committed when we preach. We need to be fully committed when we teach. We need to be fully committed when God calls us to do something. Yeah, we need right. to be fully committed when we want to go to the other side. See, there's no time. There's time out for thinking about turning back around because we can't go. We can't turn back around because we must go to the other side. Amen. Right. Oh yes, we do. We need to go to the other side. And not only that, we need to 
go to the other side, but we have to be fully committed to the direction where God wants us to go. Amen. See, you got to be able to launch out. See, I like that because, see, when you think about how he, what he's saying about they launched out, <clears throat> what well, the word says that they have launched. That means that they had no choice but to go the direction the ship was sailing. No choice. Once you accept the call from God, we have no choice but to go forward in this. Be committed to it. Be solid, locked down into this thing that God has called us to do. Not only be locked down in it and be committed to it, but it says in verse 3, I mean verse 23 says that. But they were sailing, and he fell asleep. And a fierce gale of wind, a wind ascended to the land. And they began to be swamped and to be in danger. Mm -hmm. Now, once you realize that you have made your commitment to this thing, what you made your commitment and want to get to the other side, mm -hmm. you notice here what it says in verse 3? It says that he had fell asleep. Mm -hmm. Who is that? Jesus Christ. That, and not only that he had fell asleep, but if you repeat what it's saying here, it's saying that not only that, it says that the humanity side of God had fell asleep on the ship. Amen. This is the first time it's ever been recorded that he got tired. The Bible says that God never sleep no slumber. But see, you got to understand that this one here is that this was the physical coronation of God who Jesus Christ was finally got tired on the deck of the ship. Now, right. I need you to hold on to the fact that he's asleep. I need you to hold on that in his humanity side, he got tired. Because it's going to lead us to another direction. But see, you got to realize that when he fell asleep on the ship, that's when things started happening. All right. All right. See, see when, you think, when you realize that when he fell asleep in the physical, things started happening to the disciples. Amen. And then it says right here, it says right here, it says that as, they, as he fell asleep, and fears yell wind ascended upon the land. I like that because, see, you got to understand what that word fierce means. I, I, I was reading and I was studying, and that word fierce simply means that, it simply means that grim situation. All right. When you go to the other side, sometimes you will face, you'll be faced with grim situations. All right. You'll be faced with grim situations that, that seem like there is no hope right. involved. But see, you got to still realize who you with. But not only that you need to know who you with, but your situation may seem like there is no hope at all. All right. It may seem like you may not get that light bill paid. Yes, it may right. seem like you may not get that marriage fixed the way God wanted to be fixed. You may not seem like you may yes, get them right. children in line. But see, sometimes your situation may seem like it's grim. All right. Seem like there's no hope. Seem like there's no way out of the situation. Right. Sometimes when you're on the board to go to the other side, your situation seems bleak. Amen. Seem like there's no hope. Have you ever been there? Yeah. Have you ever been there where it seemed like there's no hope? Yeah. But in the same kitchen, he says that the disciples, when they was on the ship, the fierce wind came up, and that situation seemed like it was very grim. All right. Grim, no hope in it. Amen. And not only that, it was grim, but it says that, it says that, it, it says that also a fierce gale wind. Now, see, I studied that word gale, too. That, gale, that word gale is a gust of wind. But see, it's not just any old gust of wind. See, this was the wind is up to 32 to uh, 63 miles per hour. Right? Oh, my Lord. Now, now, follow me now. We, we on a ship. We on the board of a ship. And a gale of wind of uh, anywhere from 32 to 63 miles an hour is a lot of wind to be tossed and driven on the sea. See, see, when you think about that, when that gust of wind comes through that ship, what it does, it beats and batters on the ship. And see, this is what he was talking about. He said that when the gust of wind comes into your life, it right. causes agony to the person who's going through. Yeah. And see, right. some of us, we have been through an agony state of our life. Right. We have been going through agony with, with situations that beat up against us right. trying to get to the other side. Yeah. See, when things come up in our way, if trials and tribulations come our way, we get agony come through. When we try to get them, when they scandalize our name, when they talk about it, we got agony going yes, on. Yes, See, not only they had agony going on towards this ship, that's 20, 20, with, with these winds coming 60 miles an hour, but they also had some other issues. Have you ever had those issues? Yeah. Have 
like you ever had those issues when you was in a grim state, when you had an agony state in right, your life? Right. But see, when you go to the other side, you will be faced with those situations. Yeah. Right. Not only that, it was agony against winds and, and, and not only that, but it said they begin to be swamped. Amen. Mm -hmm. You stop, you stop. I'm not the smartest person mm -hmm. in the world, but I do know that water do not belong in the ship. All right. All right. Something is wrong when you start seeing water in the ship. Right. When, when something right. is going on, now I can deal with the agony, I can deal with the gust of situation, but when I'm supposed to be in a ship, that water is coming to us, something is wrong. Right. Have you ever been there? Have you ever seen that in your life? Right. But see, sometimes in our lives, we get swamped yes, with situations. Yes, we get swamped with the with the cares of this world. Yes. See, sometimes we be like, what well, that good time when we barely keep our heads above water? Yes, 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 see, yes, sometimes we get swamped when we go through our trials and our tribulations. Yes, sometimes yes, we be overcome over the situation yes, that comes about. See, something was wrong. Yes, yes, something was wrong. See, it not only is the word swamp, but it, it, it's synonymous to the word submerged. That means that once you realize that you are swamped, that means the situation that you're in is over your head. Right. Once you say, have you ever been in a situation that was over your head? All right. But you didn't have no one to call on? Yes, sir. All right. yes, sir. Oh, the, don't rock the boat. Rock the boat, baby. Because right. when you yeah. rock the boat, you have water in the ship. Yes, sir. <laughs> you have water in the ship. Something is wrong yeah. when, when your situation is the way the, the water is submerging you. Mm. All right. Yeah, you sink it. Mm. Well, Amen. You realize that. It says that. It says that they were swamped and in danger. Uh, Amen. Ooh. Good God Almighty. Uh. A situation was grim. A situation was agony. A situation was swamped or submerged. And now it says that they are in danger. Amen. Uh, Amen. Amen. Mm. Only thing that would bring you into danger is something that's getting ready to take your life. Come on now. See, when you go going to the other side, when you're taking the direction to the other side, there is danger going to the other side. Amen. Because when it's dealing with danger, it's dealing with something that's going to take your life. All right. Amen. Going to take you out of here. When you go going to the other side, the devil don't want us to go to the other side. His, his desire is to kill Steal and destroy. Amen. And yes, it is. Amen. It's his desire is to take us out. Mm. When we want to go to the other side. Amen. And all we do is want to go to the other side because God requires it of us. Amen. The devil want to cut us off at the knee. Amen. He says that when we come in our situation, when we come into to our grim situation, when we go into our active situation, it's a murder situation. It's to the point to where we are in danger. Amen. But you already committed. Amen. But you already committed. Amen. Amen. That's what I understand. Some of us, Bring it some out. of us, when we are in that situation, we are already committed. You, need, you can't turn back around. Yes. You out here on this water. We need to be able to do something about this stuff. Amen. 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 Yes, sir. In the midst of being submerged yes. under our yes. our trials and our tribulations, yes. in the midst of being submerged under the problems of this life, in the midst of being in agony of going through what people scandalize in our name, we need to realize that we may be in danger, but we can't turn around. All Amen. right. Amen. Yes, can't turn around. Yes, right. Can't Amen. turn around. Won't turn around. All right. Amen. All right. Amen. All right. You can't turn around and the ship wants to get take a board. We, 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 if something would have happened, we couldn't turn around in the midst of a storm. All, All right. All right. Yes, if, if something happened to mama, we couldn't turn back around. Come on now. Mm. And that brings up another point. All that right. sometimes when you're going on your way in this vessel and you can't turn around, you can't worry about the people you left. All right. Yes, All right. Yes, you can't worry about the people that didn't get a boy. Yes. All right. Yes. You can worry about them if they want to, but you can't do nothing about it. You can't do nothing about it. Because we're going in one direction. Sometimes you gotta leave some people on the other side. Yeah. 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 He left that out. Yes, because if you understand what was going on in the previous step, yes, he left that woman with the issue of blood yes. on the other side. Yes. See the ones that you read, the ones that you minister to over to get them out of that situation, sometimes you gotta leave them to get to the other side. Yes. Yes. Oh yes, you do. We on the boat 
the agony, and not only the agony and the gust winds that are being submerged going on in the situation, you get to the point to where you are in danger. Amen. But when you get to the point of danger, All right, you yeah. gotta know who to call. Yes, 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 yes sir. Yeah. You gotta know yes, who to call. Sir. All right. Oh, yes, yes sir. sir. Yeah. Let's see who we need to call. Amen. Amen. It says, and they came to him and woke him up, saying, Master, Master, we are perishing. And beginning to, he beginning, he arose, I mean, he, he aroused, I'm sorry, he began to arouse and he rebuked the winds and the surging waves and they stopped and it became calm. Amen. That is good news. Amen. Can I explain why it's good news? Help right. out. See, see right here why it's good news? It's because they knew who to come to. Amen. Yes, sir. See, they knew who to come to. Now, 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 the master is asleep. I told you he was in Manny's side, and he was laying down asleep. But see, God never sleeps. All right. No, he does see slumber. Yes, sir. See, God knows all things what goes on. Yes, yes. Not only did he know all things going on, but see, they woke him up. Amen. You know what that symbolized? That symbolized them getting God's attention. Yes. The problem with some of us, when we go on through our life, when, when, when we get in danger, when we yes, get beat and battered, right. and everything is, we don't want to get God's attention. All right. Yeah. How do we get God's attention? By turning away from our sins. All right. How, how do we get God's attention? Yes, By giving him the praise when he deserves the praise. Yes, when, how do we get God's attention when we give him all the honor and glory? Yes, yes, sir. yes. yes sir. You want to come out of your circumstance? Right. You want your situation to be fixed? You must get God's attention. Yes. Amen. How you get God's attention? By reading his word. Yes. You got to know his word. Yes. In order for you to come out of your grim situation. Mm. Amen. Mm. They, Amen. They, they, they came to a master. Master. Call him twice. You know when a person just when they call your name twice. Right. You, you know when they got, when you know something really going on when they call your name twice. All right now. Master. Master. See, I like this one because he, this one here is a little bit different than the other one. The other one said, ask him to do cares thou not. But this one here said, and then you went up there and woke him up and said, Master, it says, Master, right, right, it says right here, it says that, Master, we are perishing. All right. <laughs> they didn't ask him no question in this text. <laughs> they, they didn't say, right. Master, do you care that you perish? Yes, they sir. didn't ask him none of that stuff. Yes, they just told him <laughs> what was going on. Yes, sir. See, and sometimes yes, in our life, we need to tell God yes. what's going on. Yes, sir. Lord, we perish. Lord, my situation seems good. Lord, I can't pay my rent. Lord, I can't yes, ask my God to pay my rent. Lord, my yes, children is out there food. Lord, help me. No, yes, Lord, help me. Yes, Lord, help me. See, sometimes in your life, you got to just know how to just call on them. Yes, sir. Tell them exactly what all your problems yes, is. Don't ask them no questions. Yes. Attention, all right. He's ready at that moment. Yes. Amen. The problem is, 
if we're not ready, we're not able to give them our problem and let them know and let them handle it. Because he's ready and able to handle it. Oh, that's good news. Yes, sir. When you're going through your situation with your children, he's ready. Amen. To answer. Amen. And I like that because see, if you look down at the text, it, it says that they call him master, master. We are perishing, and here, <clears throat> he up. I mean, he uh, uh, can't pronounce that word. Right? Yeah, thank you, Pastor. He arrives, and as he arrives, he rebuked the winds and the surging waves. And he stopped, uh, and they stopped and became calm. Amen. Oh, that's good news. Okay. When he arrives and he's at the point of readiness. But you know what that tells me? That when, when he when he aroused, and, and not only that he aroused, but he says he didn't say a word to him. It don't say he said a word to him. He was at the point of readiness and he went and took care of the situation. Amen. See, ain't that good news? Amen. Mm. Ain't that good news? You, you, when, you, when you need to borrow some money and somebody come up to you and say, hey, can I borrow some money? They, they'll ask some questions. They'll remember they would handle the situation. Or you go to somebody and say, hey, my light bill is due. And they just go straight and pay the light bill that is due. Oh, that's good news. Amen. Teach. New to assess their situation. Assess their situation and went straight in readiness to do what he needs to do. All right. I like that because see, if you think about what he got ready to do, when when when, when he was aroused, thank you, Pastor. That's when he right. was aroused, he was ready for action. Not only was he ready for action, but if you see what it says in the further down to the text, it says he rebuked the wind and the surging waves, and they stopped and it became calm. Amen. See, I want to let you know that he is a God that can fix calm. Right. Yes, sir. Have you ever been there? Yes, sir. He's a God that can fix cause and effect. Mm -hmm. Can I help you with it? Mm -hmm. You know what the cause is, huh? The cause is sin. Yeah. See, see, the cause is sin. And see, God can fix our sins if we turn it over to yes, him. Sir. He can fix our, our situation when we when we sin and against him if we just give it over to him. He can yes, turn it around. Oh, that's good news. Yes. But not only that he can fix your sin, but he can help you through the through the effect of sin. All right, All right. now. Like, what is the effect of sin? Can I help you? Yes, the sir. effect of sin is death. Yes. yes. He can help you through that. He's the God of cause and effect. If your marriage is getting ready to be towed up because of infidelity, he can come in and fix that situation if you give it to him. Amen. He can stop you from getting to the point of divorce. Oh man, y'all ain't happy. Y'all ain't happy here, Mom. Because he's a God of, of cause and effect. Amen. Cause and effect. That's good news. He stopped the wind. He said the first thing he stopped, he stopped the wind. When he stopped the wind, you know the wind causes the water to move. Mm. It causes the water to move. And in our lives. The wind has been blowing through us and blowing through our situation, blowing through our trials, blowing through our circumstances in our life. The winds of life have been blowing us, beating us back and forth. Mm -hmm. Not only that, it will start blowing us back and forth, but then it says here that the waves. Now, see, you got to understand what waves does. See, waves, what they do is they help carry the ship up, down, side to side, in the direction it goes. So yes. when the winds come in our lives, when those winds come in our lives, it would have a devastating effect upon our situation. All right. See, when you have a devastating situation going on, God can fix the cause of it, which is the wind, and he can also fix the devastation of the waves in your life. All right. Amen. Have you Amen. ever had waves in your life? Oh, yeah. Have you ever had those waves coming up that pushing you to and fro, sending you whichever way it want to take you? God Amen. can fix the Amen. cause and effect of our lives. And not only that he can fix the cause and effect in our lives, mm. but he could also hear it says that. And he says, and they stopped and it became calm. Amen. See, when the master of the sea tells something to peace be still, yes. it's going to be still. Yes. When you allow the master to address 
your situation, all right, it will be a calm. Amen. But see, a lot of us want to address the situation ourselves. All right. And we can't address our situation ourselves. We got to let the master address it. Yes. Because yes. see, when the master makes something have peace, it will have peace. Amen. See, what we do, we try to make peace, but it only lasts for a little bit. All right. And we try to fix it on our own. That little yes, peace only lasts for a little moment. Yes, sir. But see, when the master says it, it's peace. Amen. Amen. To calm the winds in the ways. Hmm. And in our lives, we just need to call on the master and let him come the, the, the effect of, of the wind and the waves in our life. Amen. Amen. Let, him, let, let, him, let, him, let him come in. Let him control us. Let him, let him have his way. Yes, sir. Because Amen. when he fix something, it's fixed. Amen. Yes, it is. Oh, yes, it is. Yes. It's fixed. Mm -hmm. And then here we got, and it says that, verse 25, and he said to them, he said to them, where is your pain? Where is your pain? Amen. You tell me that when we started out, I called all of us. You said you were going to come with me. All right now. Apparently, you don't know who I am. All right. Because if you know, I said we going to the other side. All right. We are definitely going to the other side. Amen. See, that simply means that if we're going to the other side, then I'm going to take care of you. You think you hear him calling? All right. He said, I'm going to take care of you right. when we're going through the other side. Yeah. Where is your faith? Yeah. Where is your faith when yeah. it needs you to go through your situation? All right. But last, I, I scratch my head because when I started studying this thing, it, it, it told me that if some of us, it's easy for us to believe in the miracle first. Mm -hmm. But it's so hard for us to believe that God can mm -hmm. fix our situation. Come on. All, right. All right. It's so easy for us to believe that he came down from 42 generations. <laughs> but it's so hard for him to fix our children. Right. It's so hard for him right. to fix our job situation. Yes, it's so hard for him to fix our marriages. Right. It's so hard for him to fix our job situation that's going on when that boss man getting on our nerves. All right. It's hard. Yes. But it's easy for us to believe that he hung, bled, and died mm -hmm. for our sins. Mm -hmm. Where's our faith? All right. Now, 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 now I wonder, because if, if you imagine the biblical birth, if you really put your, your mind to it, you think, okay, how is that really possible? All right. But through faith, you believe it. Yes. And if by faith we believe that, why we can't believe that God can fix our situation? All Amen. Right, why we can't believe that, that God can fix our children? Why we can't believe that God can handle our man, our uh, our light bill, our rent, all these other things? Yes, sir. Why is it so hard? Amen. He asked him, "Where is your faith? Hmm. Where is your faith in this thing? Hmm. I told you we were going to the other side. Amen. I told you that I'm going to the other Amen. side. Yeah. Amen. And I'm about to close, and it just says here. He says that. They answered. They said they, they were. And they were fearful and amazed. All right. Saying to one another. See, they weren't going to say that in front of him. All right. See, they weren't going to say that in front of him. They were going to say it. All right. Saying one to another. All right. Because you do know that he, he told them we were going to the other side. They knew better. After the situation got there, they knew better. But see, some of us know better. We know better not to question God when we know we was in the wrong. And they were amazed, saying to one another, All right, man. Who did this? What man I that? That he commands even the wind and the water to be obeyed. Oh, man. Man. Yes. Mm. We got to give him all the praises and the honor. Yes. Because our God is awesome. Yes, yes. He, is. Yes, he yes. is. Yes, he is. Yes, he is. He's awesome. Yes. To mm. where he controls the wind yeah. and the way. Yeah. Mm. But you got to get his attention. All right. Mm. You got to get his attention. Mm. You got to be able to wake him up mm. as they did. Mm. But what I mean is get his attention to the fact mm. the way he can move. In your situation. Yes, 
in his menstruation. Amen. I like that because, see, when you think about what he did was, and he, that he amazed them, it's the fact that he was able to do something more than we could do. Yes. Something more than, than a mere man can do. Yes. It gave them amazing because he is the master of the sea. Yes. When we surrender unto his authority, we know that he can fix it. Amen. See, they, they, they knew that the situation, that they couldn't do it on their own. Amen. And so what really amazed them was the fact that he brought them out the way he did. Hmm. You want to come out of your situation? Amen. You want to come out of your trials and tribulations? We got to have faith. Amen. We got to have faith that he came through 42 generations. Yes. Amen. You got to have faith that he came through a virgin by the name of Mary. You got to have faith that he came through the dusty shores of Galilee. Yes. You got you to gotta complete through faith that he was able to call out his disciples mm -hmm. one by one, yes. name by name. Yes. You got to believe that, that he unstopped their right fears. Yes. You got to believe that he was able to, to raise the dead. Yes. You got to believe he gave sight to the blind. Yes. Not only that you got to believe, but you got to believe that he picked you up. Yes. He turned you around. Yes. He placed your feet on yes. solid ground. Yes. You got to be like grandmama that he's your pastor. You gotta be like granddaddy. He's yeah. your walking cane. Right. You gotta believe like the disciples believe that he's your all and all. all right. You gotta believe. All right. All right. You gotta believe that he went to God, got the heal. God beat them to God, got the heal, and he died. Yeah. And he died. Yeah. But early, early, early. Yeah. Sunday morning, yeah. he got up. He got up. He got up. He got up. With all.